Data binding has always been an important part of Tornado FX. And uh, starting from Tornado FX 170, we've taken this a step further to support uh, a UI that's modeled after an input list that could be ever changing. So to demonstrate this, I've set up this uh, observable array list containing three strings. And I've called this list numbers. And what I would like to do inside this view now, uh, you can see I've set up a border pane and at the center of this border pane, I added a flow pane. So what I would like to do is to convert each list uh, item in the numbers list into a child of the flow pane. So what we can do now, starting from uh, Tornado FX 170, uh, is to take the children list of the flow pane and bind it to the numbers list. And right now, this doesn't seem possible, right? Because we have a, a list of uh, strings here, and the children list is a list of uh, nodes. So what we can, can do now is to supply uh, a conversion uh, code block as the second parameter to this bind function. And inside here, we are past the string. And uh, it's now our responsibility to turn the string into some kind of node. So the, I guess the simplest thing we could do is to say label and then pass it the string. And uh, since this is so easy, we can actually use uh, the uh, just the reference to the label constructor. So we can make it look like this. Let's try to run this sample right now. It's not going to be very exciting, but it's a start. So we now have a flow pane in the center, and it contains these three labels. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. So instead of a label, we'll set up a stack pane for each entry. And uh, inside the stack pane, let's add a circle and uh, give it a size and uh, a quick bit of styling. Let's just set the, the fill of this circle to green. Now below the circle, still inside the stack pane, let's add the label and add the string as the content of that label. So let's rerun it. And now we have a UI that's uh, created by converting this input list of uh, strings into nodes. Now the important thing here is not actually that we were able to do this because we could quite easily have done that just by iterating over these uh, uh, numbers and adding uh, the stack panes. Uh, the thing is that uh, whenever you make changes to the uh, input list, it will all automatically uh, be visible uh, in the children list of the target as well. So to demonstrate this, let's add some buttons to the top of this border pane. I'll start by adding an H box for the buttons and then uh, have uh, one button say, let's say add number. And uh, on the action, uh, event we will just say numbers add let's say four so if you hit it multiple times you <laughs> will add another four to it but that's fine so when we rerun now and uh, we hit add number we get another note so this is pretty interesting still this kind of doesn't show you what you can use this for i guess your imagination can can come up with something much nicer but uh uh, I just wanted to, to show you that uh, you can now actually make make changes to an input list and have your UI update automatically. So uh, just to see that we can remove item as well, uh, remove items as well, let's uh, remove item two and uh, we will do numbers remove from two to three. Let's start by adding a couple of items and then removing from item number two. So it seems to work. Well, this uh, is just a very simple example, as I told you, but still, uh, I think uh, it has the potential to, uh, to uh, change the way you think about your, your dynamic UIs, and uh, hopefully you'll do a lot of cool stuff with it. Uh, one more small thing to note is that here we we bound to the children list of the flow pane but we also have a, a, a shortcut for this called bind children and uh, 
it works on any event target that we're able to extract a children list from. So uh, if you have a, a known uh, UI element, we will most likely be able to find that uh, children or items or uh, tabs or whatever it's called and bind to that instead of uh, you having to specify it. There is also a version where you can specify a UI component here. So you could find some uh, number UI uh, fragment or something and it will automatically be converted into nodes for you. So that's another shorthand we have. And this one is called bind components. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, if you make something with this, uh, I would be very interested to hear about it. Thanks for watching.